Status check. I don't see anything unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type G drones. Commencing display. And now the mechanical type drones are being replaced with Gnosis type drones. Gnosis are like the big boogeymen of this game. Okay, so... I can, uh... Holding down R2, you can move quietly. I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of that, because I'm going to want to fight to gain experience points. Let's hope I have... I'll just save over this. So I will be I will be updating all three of the games regularly, all three of the Let's Plays, uh, and I'll be giving them. I plan to update them with equal frequency, though, so it won't be like one is primary and the others are secondary or vice versa. What's this? It's shiny. Mission key. All right, yeah, I can unlock that door. I think there are other places to explore. Okay, I alerted something. Can it even get through here? Well, now it can. If I open the door. All right, so this will be a fight against a new enemy. All right, you can't use... You can't use melee attacks against airborne enemies, which is logical. And Gnosis all fade like that when they're killed. Oh, do save points also restore your HP? I don't remember that. Maybe it was just because there was that cutscene and I finished that battle or something. Got times four points on one of those things. There are some goodies to get here, so I'm gonna explore some more. I'm not gonna go right in that door. Target locked on. Commencing combat. Yeah, that didn't do very much damage. I want to use more ether type. Whoa, that didn't either. Ow! That's way too much damage. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy, I guess. Hmm, these guys are a bit tougher. Okay, good thing I got that one. Geez, Xion is not looking good. Uh, maybe it's time for recovery items. Eh... And you'll notice that she has one action point left. Items use three action points. Alright, uh... Well, that didn't do much damage either, even though it was a critical hit. Alright, I guess these are just tougher enemies. I'm not sure if I needed that second attack. So this game can actually be pretty difficult in a lot of parts. Um, the bosses in particular can be tricky. Uh, it's like, once you've figured out the... Okay, so Xion now has a boost. Let's see if I can remember how to use it. Um, oh, R1 it says. Uh, well, can't use a boost right now because Xion's turn is next anyway. A boost uh, places whoever uses the boost. Um, oh, that's annoying. Has five hit points or six hit points left. Whoever uses the boost gets the next turn. 
like, I could use it on Cosmos now, but I'm not going to because she ought to just gonna kill this thing anyway. Well, at least I got extra points. Okay, um... If I was kind of sleeping on the job before, I'm awake now, because those guys are strong. Are strong. Um... And now I'm going to have Chion use some... No, not that. Some ether points, so that she can learn a, uh, a healing move. Oh, wait. Hold on. She already had that. Whoops, I screwed that up. <laughs> Alright. You do have to know something already before you transfer it to another character. Um, if you press Evolve, then that lets you... That lets you, um... What am I saying? Uh, get to another attack. I also noticed that you can press the R2 button to get more information about what the next skill's going to be. Um, I'll learn Analyze, which is basically like Scan. So, then I need 40... Okay, this is how it works. I would need 40 to learn the other skill, Goodbye, which lets you escape from battle, and 160 to learn either of the two skills branching out from Analyze. For people who have played this game, I know this must be boring, but... Like I've said, I'm playing with the expectation that... I'm doing this with the expectation that not everyone who has who is watching these videos will have played this game already. Alright. Going to avoid that guy for now. Oh wait, maybe this place is smaller than I remember. Alright, no escaping that. Guess I could have moved quietly. Cosmos, let's go. Alright, only one this time. I should be able to kill it before it can get in any attacks. Yeah, that's it. My external appearance is down five percent. Chion, I need to be clean. Ooh, Cosmos is dirty. Um. Yeah, I don't want to go in that door just yet because I think that'll lead to the boss of this area. This area is called the Encephalon. Um, this game is pretty linear. Usually, when you usually like you will have you'll have a pretty good idea of what you need to do next at any point, and it will be one thing. But at a certain point in the game, you will be able to go back to locations you've visited before. It told me this already. Why is it telling me again? Um, am I attacking the one that goes next? Well, looks like it didn't matter. Uh-oh. Well, I barely survived that one. She undid. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna kill it and then heal after that. Now, you can't just see enemy hit points automatically, so I have something equipped that lets me do that. Um, I'm going to figure out what that is. Alright, that's better. Uh, right, Cosmos has this thing equipped. Wait, how am I getting the scan? I'm not sure. Oh, alright. I am equipped with stuff. So maybe I could use skill points to extract skills right now. Oh, a cool thing... Whoops, wrong button. A cool thing that this game lets you do is you can, um... You can choose who is, uh, 
well, I guess I can't do it now, but at a lot of points you can choose which character shows up on screen. Alright, let's see if I can get some skills here. Um, I thought I had equipment. Okay, maybe I have to take off the equipment first. Like I said, it has been a while since I've played. Does she have stuff I... Alright, now maybe I can get some skills. Alright, I don't have I don't have enough skill points 